Let's start by visiting the URL of the MCP server endpoint that is using the streamable HTTP transport. You will notice that a 401 unauthorized code is returned and this indicates that this MCP server is protected by an OAuth server. Then we will start the MCP inspector, at least version V0.13 preview, and open the inspector in our tab. We select streamable HTTP as the transport type and we enter the URL of our MCP server. Next, you will notice an OAuth debugging tool that can be accessed by opening the auth settings. You know what's it? We will open the developer tools so that we can see the network requests and responses as they happen. There are guided steps that we can take. As we step through the OAuth flow, you can see that each step is successful. We are directed to open a URL to our external auth server, which in this case is Google. We copy the authorization code and paste it back into the OAuth debug flow. Finally, we will get an access token. We will copy this token into the bearer token in the MCP inspector section. Under authentication, we can then connect to our MCP server as we have fully authenticated and we are passing in a valid access bearer token. We will list the tools. There is only one and this one allows us to test the streamable nature of MCP. We said that we want a number of messages to be streamed back to us from the server and the internal between the messages and some text to identify the message. When we hit run, the MCP server will stream back these messages and we can view these results in the bottom right pane. And that's it. OAuth flow demonstrated for MCP servers using the streamable HTTP transport type. Thank you for watching.